and the next one we're going to talk about here is tempo running so <clears throat> Um, this one is controversial. This one is big. This one is something that most coaches live by. Um, I'm not a big fan of the um, tempo running. I think it, <clears throat> I think it reinforces bad mechanics. I don't think it teaches athletes how to sprint properly. If you're a sprinter, so this type of training would you would reserve for um, your middle distance runners or your somebody who's um, coming back from an injury or something right you wouldn't do this type of training for an athlete who is in season and trying to run extremely fast and what um tempo training it is is there is no specific time on the athlete there's no specific intensity for the workout the athlete basically is just going through the workout like okay do two do five one hundreds with walk back recovery right so it's all about how the athlete feel what they could run it really fast or they could run it really slow so it all so that's where i have an issue with it because i like specific guidelines when it comes on to sprinting i don't want to just go to the track and blindly do a workout so um the next one there is the tempo training this one you can implement if you're somebody who's just getting into sprinting and you're just trying to work on your form don't get me wrong the tempo training is fine but it's not something that i <clears throat> use in my type of training all the time so the next one we're going to talk about here is split training and this is this is a really good one 